Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Welcome today to my second encounter with Hong Kong based micro brand Pantor. Now Pantor seemed to be something of a one trick pony if you see what I mean. The last piece that I reviewed from them, the Sea Lion, was a NH35 powered cushion case dive watch. I've got another one in for review next month, the Sea Turtle, which is a NH35 powered cushion case dive watch. Today I've got the Nautilus, which is a NH35 powered cushion case dive watch. But it also happens to be the cheapest of their range, which is right up my street. Let's flip the camera and have a look at it. So how cheap is cheap then, Jody? Well, you can pick this one up on Amazon currently for 229 US dollars. There's only one model variant, the black dial one. Perhaps they'll expand that in due course with blue and green, and you certainly get plenty of metal for your money. You also get one of these nice little travel pouches. Definitely my preference these days, much less bulky than a box. If you buy it straight from Pantor, they're 300 and you only get a one year warranty. But if you buy it from Amazon, they're 230 and you get a two year warranty. Bit of a no brainer, really, isn't it? So, cushion case dive watch then, and quite a substantial one. 45 millimeters in diameter, only 13 mil thick though, so they've managed to keep it relatively slim in spite of the fact that it uses the Seiko NH35, and that's a good thing. 24 mil lug width, so slightly larger than usual, but again in keeping with that large, broad overall dimension. This one on the supplied silicone rubber strap weighs in at 125 grams, but for me anyway, the key dimension with this piece is the lug tip to lug tip, only 46 and a half mil. Now these cushion case dive watches perform a bit of a disappearing act once you get them on wrist, and that is in no small part thanks to a relatively compact lug tip to lug tip. Now this one is made of 316L stainless steel, case, crown, and the bezel, and the bezel action, I must say, is outstanding. 120 click, unidirectional rotating dive time bezel, no back play there whatsoever, Probably the most robust bezel action that I've encountered on any dive watch so far, and I must have looked at 50 on the channel since I started it, so that is not faint praise, that is a serious compliment for this Pantor. We have got dead flat sapphire crystal covering the dial, little bit of AR coating on that, I take it outside later on, you can see bluey purpley tinge to the AR covering a pretty simple printed dial. Printed dial, nice and simple, nice and legible, just black and white, and they haven't overdone the writing on the dial either. Just Pantor underneath the 12 o'clock and 200 meters automatic above the six. Date window cut out at the half past four. Now, the fact that they've relocated the date from the more traditional three o'clock down there to the 4.30 means they have kept the integrity of the indices all the way around the outside and a variety of different shapes. Uh, circular indices at the one and two, we've got squares at the three, the six and the nine, the kind of shield shape up there at the 12 o'clock. But pots of C3, now I put up the loom video there. Now, lots of C3 on the dial and on the loom pip, perhaps not as much as I would have liked to have seen on the hands. They fade quickest, and really, when you're talking about any watch, especially a dive watch, it's the hands that you wanna be hanging on in there. You don't want the hands to fade before the dial, that's for sure, so lots on the dial, but they could have done with another couple of layers on the hands. But the handset, while lacking a little bit of loom, is certainly attractive, lollipop second, and we've got a nice bevel in the middle of those sword hands. Screw down crown, screw down case back, giving this watch 200 meters of water resistance as noted. Just advertising Pantor, Nautilus, Sapphire Crystal, all the usual stuff, and the nice Nautilus shell there, kind of conch shell design in the middle. And the movement in this one, as noted in the intro, is the NH35, and like most of the NH35s that I've looked at, it is Pretty much fantastic, couple of seconds variation a day there. They really are cracking movements, these ones. 24 joule, hack hand wine, 42 hour power reserve, rugged, robust, reliable, and accurate. Not only does the bezel feel good, but it also looks really good. Nicely machined there, and I do like the way that they have integrated the, the flat aluminium insert. Make sure brushed and polished, brushed upper surfaces and shiny high polished sides. Nice little Nautilus logo on the screw down crown also. Silicone rubber strap is super soft and super comfy. 
Not quite sure about the patterning, but there you go. It is gonna be one of these ones that attracts dust and ooze from all around the house. So you're gonna have trouble keeping this one clean, but super comfy as mentioned. And a nice big chunky Panerai style buckle there, brushed with the Pantor logo engraved on the end. And there it is on my seven inch wrist. The combination of one of these super soft silicone straps and the cushion case diver means this one just about disappears. Super, super comfortable it really is. Perhaps a little bit over buckled. That does stick out there a little bit, perhaps a little bit over strapped in general. But if you are gonna get this one wet, if it's gonna be a water sport watch for you, then having a slightly larger, slightly longer, slightly chunkier silicone rubber strap on it is not a bad thing. And there it is zoomed out a little further for perspective. Looks like a big watch on wrist, but does not feel like a big watch on wrist. They really do vanish these cushion cases. Moans and niggles then, well, slightly overstrapped, I feel as noted, and the loom on the hands is poor. They could really have done with doing a few more layers, quite a few more layers on the hands, but very nicely machined. You know, the case, the head of the watch is very nice. It feels robust, it feels solid. I mean, obviously the cushion case, NH35, it's an alternative to the Seiko Turtle. Seiko Turtle is gonna sting you closer to 300 bucks and you're not gonna get Sapphire Crystal, but you are gonna get the Seiko brand name and you are gonna get Seiko's proprietary Lumi Bright Loom. If you're into these Pantor watches, if it's gotta be a Pantor, frankly, you may as well buy this one. It's the cheapest of the punch. So they're all quite much of a muchness, the Pantors. So you may as well get the one at $230 rather than getting the very similar ones at 250, 350, 450, 550, and so on. But do you really want a Pantor? I'll leave that one up to you. So there you have it, the Pantor Nautilus, the cheapest of their NH35 powered cushion cased dive watches. These cushion case dive watches are, however, fantastic. They really do that disappearing act. When you put them on the wrist, they shrink in size. And that silicone strap is a cracker. If you like the look, if you want to buy yourself a Pantor, this one's the cheapest. It would be my suggestion. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.